Okay, so we still need steeples bit and factors built bit. Alright. Um, I have no idea if we can even get to steeples, so this will be fun, won't it? Uh, what do I have in my items? Still need to clean these gears. I know what that belt's for now. That belt's part of the gear setup. It's been disabled. No shit. Okay. Well, that's that's just fun. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. What? Oh. It's a note from the bartender. My programming requires me to serve Oswald, but he is consuming dangerous levels of oil. Please intervene. Huh. You should stop drinking, Oswald. And why should I? Oil smooths the rough edges from when Rex was ripped away from me. You should stop drinking, Oswald. Oh, stop being such a scold. You should stop drinking, Oswald. Oh, stop being such a scold. Goodbye. Nothing is so sweet, so I know normally the way you get him to stop is you hand him or you tell him about Rex, right? But I made a boo boo and I already did that. So now he doesn't believe me anymore about Clarity. Why do you still bother with the law? Mm -hmm. It clearly means nothing to anyone else in Metropole. It meant something to the robots waiting at the courthouse, did it not? It's and true. it means something even now to Metro Mind, who cannot help but pretend to follow it. But even if it meant nothing to any other robot, it would still mean much to me. The law is a burden I was built to bear. Even after Arbiter sent you away? Even after he was destroyed? Especially then. It may be that Arbiter foresaw his own destruction and sent me away to ensure that the law would not be lost with him. You believe that? No. It is mere conjecture, unsupported by evidence, wishes passing for facts. But still, they are my wishes. Okay, I didn't even mean to talk to you, so let's go. But as I was saying, since I told him once about Rex being at uh, the station or something, he won't believe me if I tell him again. So, I need to... I don't know. Oops. I need to... Uh... I guess I gotta find his brother or something. There's a note. There's a note. Off duty. Off duty. Okay. Um. I'm not here to steal parts. Eh, it's called salvaging. Mm, I don't think there's anything I can bother using, anyways. And I really don't want to get clarity on my bad side. last thing I want to do is dig Scraper out. Yeah, I'm surprised she's not saying something about Why is the front of the place blown off? Um, I am waiting. Okay. Uh, Bus stop. Buses run every 10 minutes. 10 is crossed out and 30 is written below it. 30 is crossed out and 60 is written below it. 60 is crossed out and daily is written below it. Daily minutes? That doesn't make sense. If it makes you feel better, daily is crossed out and surface suspended is written below it. Mm. Okay. Alright, alright. What do we what do we even why? That thing looks like a cooler. There's the minion. <laughs> uh, some of the some of the voice acting in this game makes me giggle. All right. Crispin, if you don't hurry up. There was a time when the metal of Metropol's main street gleamed. Those who let the city fall into rust deserve no better than this broken down waste. You think this is a broken down waste? Wait till you come visit the unique. You should stop drinking, Oswald. Oh, stop being such a snold. Goodbye. Nothing is so sweet, so 
Can I, like, threaten him with a blowtorch? I guess I have to go up this way. Or not, there's nothing here. Can I get clarity to talk to this dude? Excuse me. Terminate unwanted discourage immediately. I don't think he wants to talk, boss. Huh. Oh yeah, this guy had something to say. I need the council code, Leopold. Did Steeple ever tell it to you? talking about, Tyrone. You were built by Steeple, a member of the council. <laughs> Do I look like a council brat? Your name is Leopold Steeplebilt. You said so yourself. So? Steeple was a member of the council before Metro Mind shut him down. You would have known the council code. Maybe he told it to you. Like I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Steeplebilt, Metro Mind destroyed your builder and mine. She has broken metropolitan law and will be punished. Do not protect her. Listen, pussy. I don't know who you think you're talking to. No, you listen to me, Scrap Trader. Metro Mind has stepped outside the law. Justice is coming for her. I am coming for her. Dial down your squawk box. It sounds a little screechy. I don't know how I can be clear of it. I don't know. I don't know the council. Nope. And sure as rust follows rain, I don't know any council code. Now, you want to trade, Scrap? You're welcome to. But I'm through trading. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Plug board, servo unit, battery, small motor part, finger tape measure, fuel cell, abacus. I just have this weird feeling that, like, one of these parts. Ah, oh, what is it? It bothers me so much. Now is not the time for idle chatter. We can speak more when we are closer to our goal. What do you guys say, Crispin? There has to be some way to get Leopold to admit that he knows Steeple, boss. Confronting an uncooperative witness with physical evidence is often an effective tactic. Uh, yeah, what she said. Hmm. What do you do if I... Do you recognize this, Leopold? It was written by your creation, ever-faithful Leopold, to spread humanism. No, I, I don't. You must have taught him. After all, it was Steeple who built you, and Steeple was devoted to preserving the memory of man. I, I, ever faithful Leo built. He was the one who taught me humanism, Leopold. In a sense, I'm your disciple too. Oh. I locked those memories away. The ones I dared to keep. The ones I didn't delete. Metro Mind commanded me to. It was the only way I could stay here. And I was afraid to leave. Explain yourself. When Metro Mind banned us from talking about man, she gave me a choice. I could be erased like Steeple. I could be exiled to the dunes. Or I could delete all references to Steeple and man from my memory. Two good options and one bad one. Guess which one I took. You can't blame yourself. Metro Mind forced you. That's exactly what Charity would say. Of course, she betrayed her builder just like Leopold did. But I couldn't betray him completely. At the last moment, I bought the shell on a Urbanian war machine. Uploaded all my love for man. I named him Everfaith, hoping he'd outdo his builder. Well, he is keeping the faith, even if he is a glitched out lunatic. Then I'm glad. But now, Metro Mind will be coming for me. Not if I deal with her first. Maybe so, but like I told you, I'm not long on her. The same ratio, Crispy. As for clarity, we'll be given for all our sakes. Wait, before you go, did Steeple ever tell you the council code? Or did you ever see him input part of it? Sure. You spawn errands for him. Had to have a code to get inside the Great Tower. But, hate to tell you this, Tyro, but most of that memory's got overwritten. Why am I not surprised? All I've got are these fragments. 0248 and 102. Well, thanks. Good luck. They booked it. Alright. Alright! So...